Okay, complex figure problems are basically just any problem where they use something more complicated than one shape. So, for instance, they basically are going to add a bunch of shapes together. So a lot of complex figure problems will give you shapes that look, you know, something along the lines of, of this. So all you have to do with complex figure problems is realize that you can break these shapes down into things that are a little bit easier to work with. So there's actually a lot of different ways of doing most complex figure problems, although there's normally one easy way and several harder ways. Um, but basically you could break this up into a bunch of different shapes. So you could make one large rectangle here if you wanted, or you could cut it up into several rectangles. And um, this here you could cut up into a triangle, and this one would be a rectangle. You also could uh, use this as a trapezoid here. Um, but basically the idea is your given some sort of shape and you're going to break it up into easier to deal with shapes and then transfer information from one shape to the other. So this is a lot like uh, the triangle problems that we saw where they'll give you two triangles stuck together. Uh, there we go. Two triangles slash three triangles if you count the large outside one. And you're going to find information on the first one and transfer that information over to the second one. So in order to explain that, let's go ahead and let's actually look at a real problem for this. Okay, so here's a pretty normal complex figure problem. So um, as you guys can see, you can kind of break this down to lots of different shapes, but it looks like two squares, um, A, B, C, D being one, and then W, X, Y, Z being the other. You also can see triangles. So for instance, A, W, Z is a triangle as is uh, X, C, Y. So there's a lot of different shapes in here, but they're all pretty much basic shapes, all shapes we've covered, all shapes that you're going to see over and over again. So let's go ahead and see what they're asking us. So um, ABC is a square. Sorry for the uh, abbreviations. It's easier to fit all the rest of the math on the page if I do that. So ABC is a square. X, Y, uh, Z, uh, Oh, W, Y, X, and Z, wrote that in a weird order, are midpoints. So for instance, that means like X is the midpoint of B, C, uh, Y is the midpoint of C, D, etc. B, C is 12, 12 units long. What is the perimeter of W, X, Y, Z? Okay, cool. So that's a pretty standard problem. Um, first things first, let's go ahead and write down the information that we know. So we know that BC is equal to 12 units. And we also know that because X is a midpoint, both of these will be 6. And we actually know, since this is a square, all of the outside, um, all the pieces of the square, like A, B, B, C, C, D, D, A, are all 12. And so all the other pieces are going to be 6. So this is 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6. Okay. So if we wanted to know the perimeter of A, B, C, D, we'd already have figured that out. But unfortunately, that's not exactly what they want. They want the perimeter of uh, their inner square. But luckily, knowing that uh, we can use triangles to help us, we're in really good shape. So let's go ahead and let's take triangle Z, D, Y. So we know that since this is a square, it's a right triangle. And we also know that two of the sides are the same. So it has to be a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. So I'll go ahead and I'll measure those 45, 45 degrees, which means using our X, X, X root 2 rule, we know that the hypotenuse is 6 rad 2. And because uh, this is a square and we've got the same exact triangles on all the other corners, all of the hypotenuses here are going to be 6 rad 2. So all we have to do in order to figure out the perimeter is say, okay, the perimeter is equal to 6 rad 2 times 4, because there are 4 of them. So you'd have 24 rad 2 as your perimeter. So that would be your final answer. So as you guys can see, 
The idea to complex figures is just you break it up into really familiar shapes and just transfer information from one to the other. And they're, they're really not so bad once you figure out which shapes to break it up into. Okay, very nice.